Studios. This is another bumper package. I would like to introduce something to you. That's something awesome I stumbled over and I felt that I need to let my fans know this. It's a wonderful carousel uh, recycler view where you could actually depict uh, movie images, poster banner, uh, or you want to actually create a kind of a look and feel that looks like a uh, a web banner in your mobile application. Uh, I would like to take some flips. Uh, you could actually flip the images all over. You could see just like this in a 3D form. Very nice using Recycler View and just a line of uh, a, a library and you get that done. So I think it's awesome. You can even set an on-click listener to this where you could actually click and probably do something else when the user try to select a particular image or banner so it's awesome and I would like to cover this or show you how to achieve this uh, uh, you actually need to bring in a library uh, right there in the dependency of your build gradle just create a new uh, project uh, but up for Kotlin as a programming language uh, create an empty activity and get to this level so in the build gradle quickly uh, uh, you need to add just one dependency. I'm using Android version 4.3 or so, uh, which uh, automatically it brings in your material design, your core KTX, and even the Kotlin STD layer lib and Espresso, as you could see. So I brought in two library, the Carousel Recycle of You. This actually done the the old gimmick, and uh, they brought the Glide from Bump tech so just to display images what glide is i should know glide by now uh, so this two library is actually going to let us do this uh wonderful uh carousel uh display in the layout file just the activity main you need to bring in one thing instead of you pointing out the the basic recycle view uh you need to call on com jack and phantom dot carousel Recycle view, pointing out the carousel recycle view itself. Just passing the weight the night to the match parents and wrap content. Give it an ID so that you'll be able to use uh, the ID in the, the code itself. And in any recycle view, we all know that there should be a corresponding item view. So in the item view, you just need just one uh, tag, which is pointing at the Jack and Phantom carousel recycle view reflection imagery so you could actually put that in a frame layout in a linear layout in a relative layout it depends on where you actually want that to uh to display a layout written height of 120 and 240 dp respectively it depends on the, the kind of uh layout you're looking at so it could be larger or smaller than that scale type fit x and y is actually recommended and you point at the source which is going to be the first image to show and uh, the, you, you also attach an ID to it. Uh, we are, I attach an ID called image. So that's just what you need to actually uh, get this started. Now we head straight to uh, the Kotlin class. Uh, you need uh, the adapter, the model, which is actually, which is going to serve as the data class, and the activity itself. And the main activity, uh, we're going to actually be creating a dummy uh, images you could actually use this uh, with uh, network uh, calls or fetching from the database it depends on how you the, the, the source of data you actually going to use with your recycle view so I'm actually creating a list of Harry where I'm having up to one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten uh, different items uh, with uh, their text and the image so you're actually going to have that in the data model you would have declared the image view and also the text as a string a peep into the data model sitting at the data model so you could actually uh you create you create a data class called data model you give it any name you feel like and the value of image and uh which is in an integer because i'm actually pulling from uh the drawable so it's actually going to depict as an integer so you could actually be pulling from uh, a different source so it could be a string it could be from the it could be from the database this could also be from uh, the network call or from APIs it depends on how you want it and the text which is actually going to serve as the title of that particular image that serve as the data model 
in the main activity back there so i actually created that and passed that into a list of array called list we need an adapter just like any recycler view needs an adapter to bind data to so and then in the, in the adapter we'll give it that as a data adapter so a quick look at the adapter just a bare bone recycler view adapter uh it's pass it holds a list which is like the constructor uh a list of uh values uh which is uh in a data model uh class and also uh you call the adapter it's a recycler view adapter uh, where you're going to implement some method the view order it's a, an inner class where you're going to actually declare the views that you actually bind into which is serves as the item uh view uh which we have the reflection image view if you have the text view you could actually add a, add that to it so it depends on what you, you need to be displayed uh in the onCreate view order which you're going to override from you calling or you extending the recycle of the adapter uh, where you're going to actually call the layout itself the item view and uh, you need to get a count of the list because you're actually passing an array list in there uh, the site itself and you need to bind the view that you need to bind the data to uh, the view created how uh, yeah glide comes in you go to use glide to actually bind uh, the the image we are getting to the order itself so that's just what this line is doing and you could decide to update the list that is if you're trying to change the list so that you're going to call the notified data data change uh to data set change to the uh to the recycler itself so it's actually going to update and uh, like swipe the first list and bring in the new list that's what that's doing so if you need that triggered you could call it from the main activity i think this is quite basic in the main activity will continue you call you're trying to initialize the adapter and we're passing the list because it's only listening to a list of data model and uh they call the carousel recycler which you would have initialized its view which is calling from the recycler view you pass you set the adapter to the value of the adapter you instantiated and now these are the two things you need you may need to do you could set the 3d item so that it's going to actually look like a 3d something you could move around and uh you could also set the alpha of the recycler view to true uh, so you could actually do that with just few lines of code you're going to achieve this and with that you're going to achieve something very smooth like this just like this so you could actually trigger uh an click listener i'm going to uncomment this when i need probably you need to click and do something with what you're clicking uh you're going to set an item click listener uh that pass that's actually going to pass in the the, the unselected objects and in turn you override the on item selected uh, where you're going to get a position so that's going to help you to actually drill down to your data from there you could actually get the string uh text you could also even get the the image uh url if you probably use a url you probably want to click and go or you want to use an intent you want to do something or you want to pass in data you want to use the data when it's been clicked so i'm just going to use a, a toast uh, you call the toast make text the main activity the position is going to help you to get to the array list since you have the position already so you could decide to know where exactly you're clicking and the index involved so i get the text and um you could length longer and you show that to the text so let me run this so that we could actually see this in our display and how it actually looks like uh, so when you click and drag Get to see the list uh, the the text coming up uh from the uh toast so that's just what that is going to do so just a slight little patience uh, we're going to have that displayed in our uh, emulator all right coming up okay now it's it's came up uh so let's just see that cool so add astra is the first which is going to show dark phoenix all right now can you see the toast as ah, small that's what is showing presently okay wing once upon a time is what shows up all right portrait that's the last so that's just it a click listener is being triggered on what you are actually selecting beach bomb that's you can see beach bomb already as ah, small 
All right, cool. So that's it. Uh, I will actually leave the, the link uh, to the source code so you could actually use the library. And I'm going to actually give uh, kudos to uh, the writer or the originator of this library. A, a very good work he did there, and, um, which is uh, Sparrow. You could uh, visit him in his GitHub page to actually also give him some thumbs up uh, for actually coming up with this library. So thank you guys for hanging out with me throughout this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye for now.